Hi, hello. Today I'm doing a draw with me video. So unlike my usual tutorial videos where I basically tell you what to do, this video will be more chill, it will be more casual, I will walk you guys through my painting process, and also what goes through my head when I'm drawing. Oh by the way, did you guys notice my new display tablet? Oh, look at that. Yes, big thank you to Huion for sending me their Canvas 12 display tablet so that I can try it out and also we will review it for today's video. Look at that, another review video. There's a third one coming up, just letting you guys know. But seriously, all of this would not be possible without you guys. So today I'm going to try and cook something for you to show you my gratitude. Yeah, I might need to think of something else. Anyway, this is the Huion Canvas 12 display tablet. Oh, look at the dog, so cute. By the way, this is my first display tablet, so I'm excited to use it. I'm gonna take off the cover and peel off the plastic. Definitely did not give myself a hand cramp. The tablet is already equipped with anti-glare film, and mine comes with the adjustable stand so it's more comfortable when I'm drawing. By the way, I already opened the box beforehand, so this part is a bit crooked, but it was neatly packed when I got it. This is the battery-free pen, and this little donut is the pen holder. If you twist it open, it has 10 replacement nibs. This is the manual and also, oh, this, this is just a round piece of paper. I thought it was the driver, but oh look, the artist glove. This is too big for me because my fingers are very, very short. And this is to wipe your tablet and keep it clean. And these are the cables, big cables and small cables. I don't use the small cable because I don't know where this part is supposed to go, so I'm just gonna use the big cables. Now unfortunately, they don't provide the USB-C and HDMI connector. I don't know what it's called exactly, but thankfully I have one of these. Now just connect everything and as always, ignore my cable management. And there we go, the screen is on. And don't forget to set up the buttons, I set up mine like this. As I mentioned, this is my first display tablet, so it was a bit awkward to use at first, but it doesn't lag at all, the color is pretty much the same with my laptop, and I really like the anti-glare film. It feels like drawing on paper, and I don't even have to use the artist glove because the screen only responds to its pen. I think this is a really great starter display tablet for first-time users like me. The only thing I wish they would improve is the cables. I don't really like cables, but big thank you to Huion for sending me Canvas 12. You guys are really cool. If you guys are looking for a display tablet, go check out Huion, link in the description. Now let's get into the video. Alright, let's start with a sketch. An ugly sketch. Sometimes I have no idea what pose I wanna draw. Originally, I want to draw Ito smiling because I wanna draw him like he's about to eat his bread but someone caught his eye. Does that make sense? By the way, I'm drawing Ito's special dish, the way of the strong. And that's also what I'll be cooking after this, with my own twist, of course. And by twist, I mean the available ingredients in my kitchen. Now I'm redrawing the sketch so that I can see clearer shapes when I'm painting this later. For this illustration, I'm back to using Clip Studio Paint. It's been a while and I miss my brushes. Oh, by the way, did you guys hear the news about Clip Studio Paint turning into a subscription base? I don't really follow the news, so I'm not sure if it's true. I hope not. But if it is... Why, CSP? Why? Okay, I'll just fast forward because this step is pretty boring. I usually use gray background when coloring because white background hurts my eyes. But then I realized that Ito's hair is also gray, so I can't use the gray background. Great! Now I'm adding soft shadows with airbrush. I'm using reddish color because I want Ito to look a bit cute in this illustration and adding blush to his cheeks and nose can help you to achieve that look. Now I'll create hard shadows with lasso tool and airbrush. 
doesn't have to be perfect because we can go with the hard brush and fix the shadows. I will do the same for the hair as well. And by the way, all the brushes I'm using right now is listed in the description box below. Alright, now I basically merge all my layers and paint over the sketch. When I first tried out this paint over method, I always lose a lot of definition of the face and the painting becomes very blurry. So try not to blend too much or add darker color first before blending. Oh yeah, I removed the smile because it doesn't look like he's eating the bread and oh man, the noodles does not look good. Maybe if I add more noodles. Oh, this, this is better, right? Yeah, always use warm colors for food. I'll also add vegetables and make the colors warmer too. In the way of the strong recipe, they used meat, right? So the way I draw meat slices is the same as I draw the veggies, only with different color. Okay, I will fix the noodle so it looks more like, well, noodles. I guess the trick is to make them in different sizes, like some noodles are big and some noodles are small, and then draw line art to define the shapes. And when you zoom out, it looks more like noodles. I focused too much on the noodles, I forgot about his face. When painting the eyes, draw thicker upper line to get that hazy bedroom look. Okay, back to the food because I just had an epiphany. In anime, the food is always shiny, right? And it looks so appetizing. So maybe we need to make the noodles shiny so it looks good. The sauce needs to be shiny as well. I prefer my paintings to have texture, so I add some strokes on the hair. I also use low opacity hard brush to add texture on the blush. When drawing lower lashes, leave a bit of space below the eyes because lower lashes are not stuck directly below the eyes. You can also leave bigger space and draw longer lashes to exaggerate the anime eyes. Now Ito's eyes are reddish orange, so I'll add some orange on the lower part of the iris. Wait, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh right, his face tattoo. I'll first draw it around the eyes and then make a line down his cheeks to make it look more natural, blend the sides a little bit, and then add a bit of skin color to it. I use Add Glow Blending Mode to add highlights. In other drawing softwares, I think it's just called Add. Always weird when I say that word, Add. Now I'm adjusting the colors with Curve Tool. I don't know why it doesn't record the Curve Tool window, but to open it, go to Edit, Tonal Correction, and then Curve Tool. The most satisfying part is adding small highlights like this. And then I move on to Photoshop to make final edits. Drawing Ito eating his way of the strong makes me hungry, so let's cut to the footage of the cooking. Good morning. Just had my morning coffee, so I don't look half dead. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. It's 6.30. Okay, full disclaimer, I'm not a great cook. I'm not a cook at all. But uh, yeah, let's try and make something. Okay, so I don't have soba noodles, but I found a recipe in Bahasa that use Indomie instead. As you guys know, I'm Indonesian, and being Indonesian, of course I love Indomie. Do not trust any Indonesian who doesn't love Indomie. I will cook the noodles according to the instructions, and I think it will be easier if you break the noodles in half. Now we leave them to boil, and in the meantime, let's cut the plain rolls. Yeah, it's definitely a bad idea to try and cut it with one hand, so let's switch the angle. Be careful when cutting the plain rolls, okay? I prefer the indomie to be slightly undercooked, so I will remove it from the heat and mix it together with the seasoning. Now let's heat up the plain rolls. Okay, yeah, this one is definitely out. I told you I can't cook. Now let's assemble the noodles. Place as many as you like. It looks kinda plain, so I will cook some eggs. I'll try to crack it with one hand, but you know I'm gonna fail anyway, right? In the real recipe, they use meat and cabbage, but I don't have meat in the house right now, and I don't want to eat cabbage first thing in the morning. Here goes the eggs, and I'll also draw the sauce. I use chili sauce, but feel free to use ketchup. It's kinda hard to draw because the opening is too big. I'm, I'm just gonna stop there. Expectation, reality. We must not forget the fried onion in Indomie. Indomie is not complete without the fried onion. Okay, now let's ask what the chef thinks about the cooking. What do you think, Ito? Yes. 
Alright, it is time to taste it. It's surprisingly good. I mean, this is the first time I'm eating indomie with bread and it tastes pretty good. The rolls definitely made the indomie taste milder though, so maybe you can add soy sauce for more flavor. You can also add ketchup or mayonnaise if you like. I don't really like sauce that much, especially ketchup, so I only use a little bit of chili sauce here. I will write down the recipe in the description box and also the link to the recipe in Bahasa. Alright, by the way, let me know in the comments if you prefer the usual type of video when I just screen record and talk or if you prefer if I mix it up with camera recording like this, camera. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.